Are you looking for replacement Instant Pot parts? We have an Instant Pot right here that my wife uses weekly, multiple times a week, and I made a video about it, and a company reached out to me because they sell Instant Pot replacement parts, and they wanted me to take a look at what they have. So, got a package right here we're gonna unbox. I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about what I learned about the Instant Pot. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and buy to put on our Instant Pots. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So like I said, we have this Instant Pot here, and it gets used quite often, and uh, all of the parts that you need for this are based in the lid here. Obviously, there's the gasket, and they give you a few of those. Then there's also uh, these little things right here that I didn't even know what exactly they did, because I never really got into understanding pressure cooker. So I want to show you guys what we got here. Open this up right here. Open that bad boy up. Let's see. We got a few things right there. What's this? That's just a little packing slip. Okay. So it all comes nice and neat in a little bag, which is super cool. And zip top bag. Pop that thing open. By the way, if you guys want to check this thing out too, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go and uh, read other people's reviews about it and not just take my word for it. Just one guy showing it off to you for the first time. And they give you three gaskets. I love the patrioticness here of the red, white, and blue. That's always fun. What comes on this one? This one, yeah, it's kind of a white, kind of clear, opaque looking one right there. So these gaskets can wear out over time. I mean, obviously, whenever you're cooking, you're cooking at super high heat, all kind of compressed down into it. And you want to make sure that you have a good seal. So I would recommend that you get a couple of these just to have on hand for the day that it does go out. You know, you don't want to have to wait for another one to come in the mail if you're trying to cook dinner that night. So even if it's just one, go and find you one good gasket um, that you can use on your Instant Pot. Now the other thing that comes with it, this is the, is that called the release valve? I think this is, well there's that and then there's these little thingies here too which you're going to need as well. This is actually quite a unique mechanism that I'd never thought about before. So um, there's this little metal piece right there. This is the bottom part of it, and it moves up and down. And as the pressure builds in there, it, uh, hang on, let me see. It pushes it up, and it actually locks this little doohickey right here, this little lock on the lid. So whenever this thing is pushed up because there's so much pressure, they wanna make sure that you don't unlock it. They wanna make sure that you release your, your steam first. And so uh, this thing's gonna lock for you. Now whenever the steam is released and everything's depressurized, this thing falls down, and then your little lock under here uh, unlocks, and so you're able to uh, try to get your lid off so you can get to your food. So uh, definitely one aspect of the Instant Pot that I didn't know about and that I wanted you guys to know about. Now, whenever it comes to this thing, if you don't clean this thing, it can get all gunky and messed up or uh, you know stick start sticking to things. And so you wanna make sure that you do give this thing a little wash. Now also, if you lose this thing, that could be uh, an issue as well. So they uh, actually send one in this little baggie right here. Um, if you guys are needing one, if you lose it, or if something breaks or something happens to it, or if you just wanna have an extra one on hand. And then they also give you these little rubber, uh, lack of a better word, rubber feet that fit on the bottom of that as well. And that's what kind of holds it uh, into place uh, so that it doesn't you know, go flying out or anything. So you basically have this piece that drops into the hole here. And then the rubber, you hold your finger right here whenever you put it in. And then you take your, uh, your little rubber deal and you just pop it right on right on top there so that it just, it's easy to just pry it on and off so that you can get to it and clean it and make sure that uh, everything is good with it. So those are the accessories. There's also this right here. This is the uh, steam release valve right here. It covers this. So as you know, you put this in and it locks it down. And then whenever you want to release your steam, you turn it one way or the other. I never can remember which way. And, uh, and it releases all of the pressure that's built up into there. And once that pressure is released from this, the little pin's gonna drop down, unlock the lid, and you can open it up and get to your food. Um, so, 
If you wanna, those are kind of like the main parts of the Instant Pot that you might need, that something might happen to them or they might get junked up. And uh, I would say that you probably wanna have some of these on hand. So if you guys need some of these parts, I'm gonna link them up down in the description below. Y'all go read other people's reviews about them. Don't just take my word for it. I believe that these are like some aftermarket uh, uh, they're not like the, what do you call that? Uh, the ones that came, the, the ones that are made by Instant Pot. Second hand, not second hand. I can't think of the right word. Let me know down in the comments below what I'm trying to say. Can y'all read my mind? <laughs> but uh, I definitely recommend just picking up a few of these extra parts just in case. I mean, it's probably, I think these were like 10 bucks maybe, 20 bucks. I mean, you may as well have that peace of mind on hand uh, for your cooking. If you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews and you wanna see the original Instant Pot video that I did, I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys go and click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. Let me know your favorite recipe that you've cooked in an Instant Pot before. My wife makes gumbo. If y'all don't know, we're down here in Louisiana. She makes gumbo and it comes out delicious, like authentic. Definitely gotta find that recipe and share it with you guys. Make Follow me on Twitter or something. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.